Welcome back guys. <clears throat> Today I thought I'd take a look at the newest release candidate for Manjaro GNOME desktop. This is a community edition. Uh, it was just released I believe yesterday. I downloaded it last night. Uh, made a few changes, added some extensions and things like that. But so far everything's running fine. Haven't had any issues whatsoever. If you like the GNOME desktop, then more than likely you will like this. Now, uh, you can go with either the dark uh, version or the light version. If you click on the file manager, you'll see that I have the light version installed. Um, as I said, everything's running fine. Now, if you want to download this just to do some testing, keep in mind this is the first release candidate. Although I have not found any bugs, you might want to uh, test it a little bit uh, before you introduce it. Uh, and I would uh, wait until the final release candidate or the final release is issued before you use it for your daily driver. Okay, so if you go to the website, <clears throat> Manjaro, click on Community, Forum, English Official, uh, Announcements, then go to the fourth one down, GNOME 1608 RC1, Stable, released and then if you scroll down there is a link for download right here it's only been downloaded evidently 29 times so far uh, but there is a link to download <coughs> excuse me and <coughs> as you can see it just clicked to 30 but if I if I scroll down here it says 108 but this, it's available in 32-bit and 64-bit. And then you can go ahead and download and install that. If you like the GNOME desktop, this has all of the great features of the GNOME desktop. Now, uh, I modified it slightly. I added some extensions. If you go down to the Tweak tool, you will see that it's basically set up the same way uh, the other GNOME distributions are, except of course with this you get all the advantages of Manjaro. Um, I added multiple extensions just to tweak it the way I want. I've got some redundancy uh, up in the top panel, so just because I'm testing out various extensions. And so it, if you take a look, I've got applications and then I have favorites, then I have more applications, then I have more more applications. I've got this apps which will trigger the launcher and then also it, it can be triggered there also. So I do have some redundancy but I am testing some of these extensions. Um, everything, as I said, everything is running fine. Uh, it has all of the great features of Manjaro. You guys know how I feel about Manjaro. I think it's a wonderful, they issue wonderful uh, Linux, Arch Linux uh, distributions. So currently on my computer I have the Deepin, Manjaro Deepin running fine. I have Cinnamon running fine. I have XFCE running fine and now GNOME running fine. So <clears throat> I'm uh, running some tests on the uh, on the distributions just to make sure and and I'm doing that not because I want to find problems but I want to pass along uh, any bugs that crop up to the Manjaro developers so they can to assist them in uh, in eliminating these bugs before the final release comes out because stability obviously is the name of the game. So that is it for Manjaro Linux. This is the GNOME Desktop Community Edition. This is the default wallpaper. I haven't changed anything on the appearance, so this is the default icons. Uh, I did install Infinality Fonts and my Broadcom Wi-Fi, no problems at all. NVIDIA, although I haven't checked it, NVIDIA should be enabled out of the box because I use the non-free driver install <coughs> excuse me 
Um, and so as you can see, I'm running the 370.28. Let's see what the usage is. Okay, so you can see it's minimal CPU usage, and I am using 2.39 gig gigabytes of my 32. So, but that's because I'm running GUVC View, simple screen recorder. I've got uh, some several tabs open on my browser, so um, that's to be expected. But I don't expect this will run any um, more resource intensive than a typical Manjaro ins uh, Manjaro GNOME install. Uh, this should mirror a typical GNOME Linux install. So guys, that is it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel, and I will see you soon. Take care.